Well, I wish I had everybody's email, but I don't, so... This is Guns in the News. Now, we're going down here. I'm going to show you some of the stuff that's in here today. This is one that we're going to cover. As politicians and media attack your Second Amendment rights, remember the cover-up of the Combine High School shooting. And if you don't remember much about Combine, remember that they taught death education out there. And they had a lot of kids on drugs out there, too, you know, thanks to the, the doctors. Okay, that's not important there. Okay. When criminals and psychos aren't locked up, everybody ends up in jail. Boy, you got that. This here is an, looks interesting. Congressman warns of political conspiracy to overturn Second Amendment in its entirety. Now that is what seems to be coming down the pike. Don't let them. Don't let them open up that, that uh, Article 5, you know, convention thing. Don't let them do it. Okay, now. Let's go here. Politicians and the media attack your Second Amendment rights. Remember the cover-up of the Combine High School. And this would take in, like, Sandy Hook. All these school shootings, people, nothing happens by chance. Get that through your head. Nothing happens by chance. Even the cops believe there were six to eight armed individuals inside. Okay. They shot up the school, killed 12 students and a teacher. This was April 20th, 1999. Mainstream media narrative it was only two bullied outcasts. Far from, far from it. Bent on revenge. And then why was there over 101 eyewitnesses? Because it didn't fit the narrative of the mainstream media that was attempting to set in the minds of the people. Ask yourself, what was the mainstream media's objective? Everyone knows that. Gun control. What is frightening is here that the mainstream media had successfully diverted the American people away from those that were eye and ear witnesses to the fact of the day's events of April 20th, 1999. Instead, they had you believe the narrative that they wanted you to see rather than what actually took place that fateful day. I'm going to show you something here. According to the final report of investigation, only two people, Ed, Eric Harris, 18, uh, Dylan Kilbord, 17, planned the execution of the mass shooting at Combine leaving 15 dead, 23 wounded. But at least 101 eyewitnesses remember it differently. I'm going to show you here, people. Starts out one right there, Chris Wisher. It goes on down here, people. There are 101 eyewitnesses to what went on and there was more than the, just those two shooters, I'm telling you. I'm going to put a link in here so you guys can go read this yourself and understand what the living hell is going on in your country. Right underneath your eyes, and you believe the damn fake news that they feed you with a spoon every day. That's yeah, 91 there, 95, 99, right there. It's 101. These were the eyewitnesses. Huh. Even uh, Steven Seagal over here. Steven Seagal, mass shoes in the U.S. are engineered. Yeah, buddy, we know that. Yeah, we do. Okay. The historical contact of the Combine seldom gets any mention in the mainstream media. State after state had legalized concealed carry laws for law-abiding citizens. As each state passed those laws, the crime plummeted. 
gun grabbers were losing their public relations war over the issue of gun control as it became clear that armed citizens are detergent to crime. The gun grabbers needed a public relations event so horrific that the emotional reaction to it would outweigh all possible logical arguments on the issue of gun control. Colorado was on the verge of passing a concealed carry law. When Combine happened, the nation moved towards allowing law-abiding citizens to carry concealed weapons slammed to a complete halt. You know, it's like the shootings down in Florida and all these other ones. Things are getting ready to get passed <coughs> so people can carry. And bingo, catastrophe, When they're, they're, they're like right now. We know something that's going to happen. We're just sitting here waiting for the next shoe to fall. Certainly there are many interests that oppose private citizens being able to stop crime. Organized crime tops that list, followed by many police officers who have seen their own authority and pensions threatened by a public being able to take care of themselves. Finally, there's a pro-dictatorship -dic forces in the U.S. which see a disarmed, helpless population as crucial to their designs. It is in this context that the very odd aspect of the combine shooting needs to be examined. Look back for a time when we know the government lied about weapons of mass destruction and with 84% of Americans no longer trusting their official story of 911, it's valid to ask if the Combine was a staged event to trick Americans into surrendering their Second Amendment rights. Yep. South Carolina a court rules caught broke the law when he went to an innocent family's home and shot husband through a window and lied about it. <laughs> yeah, right, buckwheat. Like I said, there's 101 witnesses and none of them are following the, the, the routine that the, the media wanted you to follow. I'll put a link to this. I should... How far? I'm already seven minutes into this, so I say it can't go much further because it takes forever to upload these things. So I'll leave it at that. I'll put a link in there, and you guys can go check this out yourself. 